into our sanctuary for those who are still making their way down. There are so many seats available. Don't be shy. There are lots of groups available. Uh, even beside, if there are seats beside you, just raise your hand so people can see them down in the front sections here as they're coming in. Oh, this is so wonderful. Look at all of these beautiful faces. Now it feels like the new year. So exciting. We have come together. We are a community. A community of people celebrating a very special birthday. The birthday of the world. Today. It's today. We say Shana Tova, Happy New Year. And we sing words of community. Hine Matov. guitar thing? Oh, you sure can. Thank you so much. I turned the pack off, though, so be careful. Oh, okay. Thank, thanks for letting me know. You know, there are so many ways we greet each other during the week. We say, hi, how are you? Say, sup? All different kinds of things we say. But at the very beginning of the service, I said we, I said Shana Tova to all of you. Do you know what Shana Tova means? It means a good year, a happy year, and it's how we greet each other for our birthday celebration this year. And so here's a special song about greeting each other in this unique way at the start of the new year. The Shana Tova, Happy New Year. Try that with me. The Shana Tova, Happy New Year. The Shana Tova, Shana Tova, a healthy new year. The Shana Tova, a sweet new year for you and you and me. Try that with me. The Shana Tova, happy new year. The Shana Tova, a healthy new year. The Shana Tova, a sweet new year for you and you and me. We start at the very beginning.
we get all together and we get to praise God. Yes, everybody stand on up because when we praise God, we like to be standing. Everybody stand up on your feet. Stand on your feet. Oh, hold on. I forgot something. Sit down. I forgot something. Sit down again. Sit down. Sit down. I forgot something. <laughs> you know, the thing is, today is not just a normal day. When we praise God, we actually have to stand up even higher than possible. So first, stretch your back out so you get really long. Stretch your back out. Stretch your legs out one at a time. Stretch them out. Stretch them out. Stretch your toes out. Stretch your toes Stretch your neck out. Now we're going to stand up even higher because it's rushing. Ready? Stand up as high as you can. Oh, I forgot something else. I forgot something. Sit down again. Wait, there's just one other thing. One other thing. It's not just your body you have to stretch out. You have to stretch out your soul. Think of the most happy thing you can think of. Think of it and stretch your soul. Ready? Stretch happy. Now think of the most wonderful thing you can think about and stretch your soul out. How wonderful. Stretch it out. Think of the most beautiful thing you can think of. Stretch it out as long as you can. Oh. Now, I think we're finally ready to stand up on Rosh Hashanah. And we rise for the call to worship. will sing the Shema. God is...
moms, dads, grandparents. Shh. This is our silent prayer, so we have to be very quiet. Shh. Kids, make sure your parents are not talking. So later, after the service is over, all of us are going to go out that door, down to the pond, not into the pond, down near the pond, because there is a ceremony called Tashlich. Can you say Tashlich? Tashlich. We take breadcrumbs and we cast them upon the waters with our sins. By the way, for grown-ups, tomorrow, 5.30, Hart Plaza, downtown, a special Tashlik service, which is going to be presented by the well. It's going to be amazing for kids here today at our pond. So listen to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bad things that we've done in the past year, we're going to put them into those breadcrumbs, and we're going to throw them on the water as a way of saying we're sorry. So right now, we're going to pray silently and think of the things that we want to do better in the world, in the year to come. Think of the things we're going to throw into those breadcrumbs and cast upon the waters of Tashlich. Everyone, we pray silently. in a white robe and it was the high holidays but he was sad this rabbi because in his town people were not always behaving very well his family was fighting with one another his children were angry and were beating up their brothers and sisters his wife wasn't always so nice and the people in his town were downright mean to one another and so that rabbi decided, I'm going to go find a new town. I'm going to find a better town. And so the rabbi took off his robe. He didn't want anybody to know that he was a rabbi. He threw his robe and he decided to look around. He was worried because he knew that people who knew him would recognize his talit and they would recognize his jacket. So he took off all of the things that made him look like a rabbi and he decided to put on a hat so he would look like a regular person. He took off his shoes because he was going on a long, long journey. And instead of those shoes, he put on boots that he could walk through the forest with. They were old boots. Nobody would imagine that the rabbi would be wearing boots that looked like this. And just to make sure that nobody would know who he was, he took an old jacket out of his closet. He wrapped himself in the jacket because it was cold outside. He didn't want anybody to realize who he was. And he started to walk away from his town. He thought to himself, I'll find a better town where there are nicer people, people like all of you, people who treat brothers and sisters well, people who say nice things throughout the year. And he walked and he walked and he walked. And as he walked, he saw unbelievable things, giant trees. He walked over mountains. He kept walking and walking and walking, trying to find a new town, a town where people were nice. And as he was getting into the middle of the dark part of the night, the rabbi realized he had to find a place to go to sleep because he hadn't found a new town. So he took off his jacket. 
he laid it down. He took off his boots and he thought to himself, hold on, I know that the town that I came from is over there and the town that I want to go to is over there. So just to be sure, I'm going to point my boots in the direction that I should walk because if I go back that way, I'll come back to my town. But if I go that way, I'll find a new town, a better town with nicer people to start the new year. And with that, the rabbi lied down. He covered himself in the jacket as a blanket and he went to sleep. In the middle of the night, night, something crazy happened. The rabbi was still asleep, and a storm began to blow. It was a wild and crazy storm. The storm looked like rabbis that he knew in his dreams. But the rabbi kept sleeping. The storm finally ended. Is the storm done? The storm ended. The rabbi woke up and he realized it was morning. He looked around him and he said, I'm ready to find that special, better town with nicer people. So he put back on his jacket. He made sure his hat was on his head so nobody would recognize him. And he thought to himself, I am so smart. I don't really know which way to go because I could go this way or I could go this way, but I last night put my boots pointing in the direction that I should go that will take me to a new town. And he looked at his boots. He saw them, saw that they were pointing this way. He quickly put them on the right foot, sort of. And the rabbi, knowing that he was going towards a new town, started to walk again. He walked after he got his boot on. He walked and he walked and he walked. And he walked and he walked and he walked right in the direction he had come from. The rabbi then thought to himself, I am soon going to find a new town. This town, he looked and he saw all of the people in this new town. And what's weird is they all looked like people from his old town. He thought to himself, these rabbis look like the rabbis that I know. And he came and he saw his own children. And what? There was clothing on the ground that looked like his old clothing. He thought, this is an amazing new town. They have been ready for me. They've been waiting. They put my clothes and my robe and they put my talit out. I'm ready to be a rabbi in a new town with nicer people. What the rabbi didn't realize is that in the night, when the storm came, his boots pointed back to the direction he had come from, and when he saw his old town, he thought it was new. And what he learned that day is what all of you can learn on this new year, that sometimes our brothers and sisters aren't so nice to us. Sometimes things don't go perfectly, but... In our own homes, in our own town, in our own families, we have the people who love us the most. And that is the most wonderful part about this day, about this holiday, as we start a new year. So take a moment now to hug the people next to you, people who live in your own town. And remember how lucky you are to start this Shana Tova, a happy new year. What a sweet, sweet story. It was so sweet. The taste is still in my mouth. I feel like this is this is one of those moments where we just have to say, this new year is going to be a sweet one. I think it's going to be very sweet. Look at all those hugs. What do you think it could be sweet as? Sweet as molasses. Mm. Molasses that's it's a little spicy too. Sweet as Montreal maple syrup. Ooh, that is pretty sweet. It's very tasty too. But I'm thinking of something that maybe goes with um, with apples. Oh, uh, what with apples? What would I eat with apples? Maybe. Um, honey. 
honey. Nope. I like that. I like that. Sweet as honey. Sweet as honey. Sweet as honey on our tongue. Sweet as honey. Sweet as honey. Sweet as honey on our Take all the Torahs out. We're going to bring... If you want a Torah to come to you, raise your hand. Good story. Nice one. If you want a Torah to come, say, I love Torah. The Torahs can't hear it. Come on. I love Torah. One more time. I love Torah. And now we say the Shema because that's where the words came from, from the Torah. Shema
us double time. David, Melech Israel. amazing, amazing time of the year when we're going to blow the shofar. So Jared Grimes, would you please come on up? Jared blows the most beautiful shofar. Is everybody ready? So I'm now going to take out, I got for Jared, the most amazing shofar. It's going to make the most beautiful sound, but to hear it, you have to learn the sounds. So first everybody say, Tekia. Tekia. Loud as you can. Tekia. Tekia. You know, when I came here, they said that American kids couldn't really yell loud. I guess they were right, because that's, that's as loud as they could yell. I'll give them one more try. Let me hear. Tekia. Tekia. Oh, okay. Right now, you ready? When you say it, I'm going to take out the most beautiful shofar for us to hear. One, two, three. That was your turn. Ready? One, two, three. Tekia. Happy New Year. Ready for the shofar. Ready? Listen. No, no, canter, 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 canter. That's that's not a shofar. What? What's that? That's a dolphin. My, that's a, a dolphin, dolphin, not a shofar. A dolphin. Oh, it's a dolphin. Okay. It looks similar. I, I, you know, what? I, I think you're right. A shofar is not a, a sea animal. That's right. A shofar doesn't swim in the ocean. Is that right? You, okay. you did that on purpose. Okay, I've got. On purpose. I've, I've got something here that's not a sea animal. There must be it. Everybody ready? One, two, three. Tequila. Here it is. Shana tova umetuka. Don't you like my shofar? What's that? It's not a. It's not a. It's a what? It's a, a lamb. Oh. Now, Jared, you couldn't really blow this shofar thing, could you? Okay. You know what? A shofar is actually bigger than this, isn't it? It's bigger. <laughs> right? Okay. I have something here that's bigger. Okay. Ready? This time, this time, I think I got it right. Everybody, on the count of three, real loud. One, two, three. Tequila. bigger. That's bigger. Right? I don't even know what sound he makes. What? What's that? It's what? This is... Oh! It's Olaf. Olaf. Okay. Oh, you hold him. Clearly, that's not... Okay, hold on. A shofar is like the horn of an animal, right? So I need something with a horn. Is that right? Okay, last time. Last time. Ready? As full as you can. One, two, three. Tequila. Shana. What, it has horns, right? What's this? Oh, okay, I think we got a theme here. Okay, enough of the movie stuff. I need to take this back home or my son will kill me. 
Okay, I only have one last thing here, but I, I don't see how somebody can make a big sound on it. It looks really awkward. Okay, but we're going to try it, okay? As, as loud as you can. Tequila. One, two, three. Tequila. Is that right? make a sound with this, but Jared knows. So everybody stand on up. Everybody stand up. Please we rise. We have a blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kishan v'mitzvotah v'tivanu nishmoa kol shofar Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehechianu v'ki Listen carefully and yell, Tequila! Tequila! Everybody yell, Shivarim! Shivarim! Everybody yell, Trua! Trua! Last one's the longest. Tiki Agidola. Shana Tova. Happy New Year. Shana Tova. Before you go, you know, there's a, there's a friend that always comes along for us, uh, my dinosaur. Anybody have a dinosaur out there? If you do, pop it along like this. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. Knock, knock, knocking. One, two, three. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. He wants to spend Rosh Hashanah with me. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. He wants to spend Rosh Hashanah with me. He wants to dip an apple and to sing a New Year's song. He wants to blow the shofar. He can hold the note so long. There's a dinosaur. To spend for Shasha now. Every dinosaur jump! There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. Knock, knock, knocking. One, two, three. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. He wants to spend Rosh Hashanah with me. The Shana Tova Tikatevu. A happy, a healthy, a love filled new year. After you kiss the person next to you on either side and behind you, very slowly through that door or through the door to the back and to the right, let's go out for Tashlich.